here I am in Coombe Valley Nature Reserve today doing a spot of bird watching. It wasn't supposed to be like this on the weather forecast. Looks like we're in for a good day. It's a really well managed reserve. I've been here before, just south of Leek. The RSPB maintain it. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's yet it seems undiscovered. There's hardly anybody here. In fact, I've seen no one so far this morning and uh, it's idyllic, absolutely beautiful. It's got all the things to make it nice and easy for us. We've got styles, footbridges. It's wonderful. Oh, there's a nice stream here. Let's have a look at this. See if there's anything hiding. Just heard a woodpecker. Now, hopefully, I might catch him, see him later. Here's our stream, up the steps. Oh, oh, oh. No, no trolls. Here we are. And it's lovely. Here we are. You can hear my pole banging around, I'm afraid. I'll show you the setup in a minute, but I've got I've got my camera on my monopod. Helps a bit when you're trying to take photos of birds. Right. I've come to a signpost and I've got a choice now between the Valley Woodland and the Valley Woodland Trail shortcut. I'm going to go on the Valley Woodland Trail, which is up those steps there, rather than the shortcut over there because the last time I came, I just remember there's this amazing view from the top when you get to the top and we might see some birds of prey up there flying over the valley. So we are going up the trail. No shortcuts for us. Oh, let's undo the little latch. Right, and up we go. That's the worst part all these steps but it's worth it taking the high route it's warm again it doesn't look it I know but it is that should be a weather forecaster a weather a weatherman because everywhere I go it seems to be hot let's hope it stays that way Up there you can see where we're heading to, that sort of valley up the top there and there's a there's a spot right at the, the head of the valley that you can look down. Absolutely gorgeous today, there's lots of birds. This is my favourite time of year really for bird spotting because they're all just coming back, April, they're all just coming back but there's not that many leaves on the trees and so you've got a chance, a chance of seeing something. Fingers crossed. You see some really strange structures when you're out walking. Like this wall, for instance. It, it comes down, crosses the path, and somebody has built in the past some steps going up. Looks like one of those things you use to get on a horse by the side of a pub. But it's in the middle of nowhere, and it makes you wonder what on earth is that doing here? It's on the edge of the valley. Below us is the river. Why on earth did they build that? It's obviously a continuation of this wall, but why on earth it's there? I have no idea. Leaving there and heading up, it gets a bit steep now. I absolutely love the moss. It's on everything, everything getting eaten away by the moss. Absolutely beautiful. Real emerald green. And the trees, this time of year, twisted and bare. And I've noticed that the National Trust and the OSPB tend to leave piles of wood. And obviously that, that's going to attract insects that in its turn will attract more birds and it's lovely to see it's just 
lovely, crumbling, but beautiful. Right, up we go. Look at that tucked away over there. There's a little farmhouse. Been there for hundreds of years. No road to it, there's nothing going to that at all. So it must have just survived a little track in the past. Empty now. But God, it must have been a lonely old existence out here once upon a time. Phew. Hopefully, getting near the top. I'm worn out. It got a bit windy back there. I had to put my hat back on. Now I'm in the shadow of the hill again. It's it's warmed up. I'm going to keep it on. That was a bit chilly. It's quite early as yet. Oh, look at this! It's beautiful. Not a single person have I seen yet. Well, if you look on all the trees. They've got loads and loads and loads of these bird boxes. Obviously, they're all numbered so they can figure out who's been living here. I'll show you how high we are now. There's that little cottage that we saw before, right down there. And this is quite a drop. You won't want to fall off. Carry along the path and see what there is. Absolutely love the shapes of these trees. They're glorious. I might come back with my camera, with my other lens, and take some photographs of these trees. Because they're very interesting shapes. Look at this. Lovely. And you can tell that we're in North Staffordshire because just as we had in the Midlands where I grew up, there's lots and lots of these Scots Prying because they love sandstone. And, uh, right, looks like we've got to go down to go up. So, around we go. Be very careful not to slip. It's very mossy. Everything is really mossy. Right, and I'm holding me phone up like a fool walking around. So, <laughs> I've managed it. Oh, now there's loads and loads of pheasants. I can hear them all crying off, but I couldn't find, I couldn't see that uh, woodpecker that I heard before. I thought I saw it climbing up the side of a tree, but I was too late to get out with my camera and it could have been a squirrel in fairness, but uh, hopefully we'll see him. There's plenty of food for a woodpecker out here. I've heard him. He's here somewhere. So, fingers crossed, we'll find him. You can hear all sorts, actually. Yeah. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, can you hear that? Beautiful. I knew it would. That path brought me all the way back down again, right down to the stream. Oh, that means I've got to walk back up it again at some point. Really well maintained this place. Look at this, I've got walkways everywhere. Make sure you're safe. Glorious. And you can see why they need them. The ground here is so sodden that uh, all of these little streamlets coming down the hill, it would be an awful walk without these bridges. All right, I keep hearing loads of birds. I'm not seeing many. I think they're hearing me coming and they're disappearing. But hopefully I'll see something eventually. You can see the stream down there. Coming down the road, probably sound. And now we're sort of heading back, ah, I was about to say, towards that cottage and here it is. Ah, that's good. Oh well, I don't mind coming all the way back down if I get to see this cottage. Let's have an explore.
Ah, here we go. There he is. Oh. Well, he's obviously an old farmhouse, it is, I was right. You can see all the remains of the walls coming through. And it would have been a lovely spot. I don't know what you would have farmed here though. Must have been, must have been farming. He must be sheep. You wouldn't get a crop out here, surely. Let's have a walk around the front of it. Let's see what it looks like from the front. Well, here we are looking in. There's that buttress I was telling you about. And then here we've got the window. If you look inside, oh, oh this makes it easier. You can see that the the thing has been used because there is a modern heater next to the old fireplace and the door. So it has been used for something that's required heating recently. Yeah, lovely building. Just walking around the side of it. And there's the old gate. Oh look, and in here, We've got the old, uh, looks like well, they would have kept a couple of pigs or something in here. Oh yes, look at that. Yeah, so that, and they've got a new roof on it, so somebody's doing something with it. It's a, that's definitely a pigsty. Yeah, lovely, and there it is, that would be the old back entrance. It's made a good solid stone and it's very posh. It must have been built by somebody with a bit of money because those mullion windows wouldn't have been cheap and they're well turned. So I reckon this was part of some estate. Would have been a, a lodge for one of the keepers or something in the past. Probably the gamekeeper. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I had a little route around there. Right, off we go. Okay, homeward bound now, I think. We got to the furthest point that I'm going to today. I'm going to stroll back down this valley. It's lovely how it opens up. Once you get a clear view, once you get free of the trees, it's an amazing size, amazing size valley. So we're going to walk back through now and uh, through these silver birch. And I can hear the river over there. Head my way back down to the river. Down this lovely mode path. Perfect. This is gentle walking. Here we are. Back at my lovely bridge again. Whew. It's too warm for walking today. Every morning I set off and I think, what shall I wear? And the answer to that, because it's cold early in the morning, is everything. And then 15 minutes into the walk, I'm wishing I'd put none of it on. Oh, I'm absolutely roasting again. Righty ho, didn't see many birds of note, but it was been absolutely gorgeous, sort of few little birdies. And so hopefully an albatross will fly out of the bush on my way back up to the car. Well, here we are, end of the walk. Absolutely loved it. Perfect weather again, keep dropping lucky. Didn't see many birds, not of note really, but luckily I did meet a group of fellow twitchers who also had seen very few birds of note. And so it's not my fault. It wasn't me clunking around that got rid of them. Right, simply enough really. I've got a nice pair of binoculars, nothing too heavy. Bird watching, you don't want something massive maybe around your neck. And here, this is really heavy. This is my camera, it's the Canon again, the 5D Mark IV. And I've got a 1 to 400 zoom, which is really excellent L-series lens. 
and uh, the good thing is because it's got the foot you can still put the sling on so you haven't got to walk around carrying the camera and then I've got this Manfrotto tripod which I really like that you can screw one of the legs off and it can turn into a monopod which makes things nice and easy perfect for bird watching especially with a lens like that you need to have something to stand it on otherwise you'll be shaking all over the place right then so it's been a fantastic walk and uh, I will see you again next time.